Hi everybody, we're going to do a Q&A. We're going to talk about the Armory's Overcoat collection. You know, we have shops in Hong Kong and New York. We have a very international customer base. There was a time when we all had to travel. Uh, so people need overcoats. Uh, let's have a look at what we have available this season. So this is the first one I want to show you. This is the Armory's Callaway Coat. It's a collaboration with Owen Barry, which is a specialist in shearling coats from the UK. Um, we made a toggle style, uh, sorry, a duffel style coat with leather toggles. Yeah. And you know, it's not too full fit. It's got some great details, such as the toggles. Uh, we also worked on trying to get the front of the coat a little bit longer so that it's closer to the neck when you have it all buttoned up. And we reshaped the hood as well. You know, hoods are surprisingly something that a lot of people overlook. Like it's important to have a hood that doesn't get in your eyes, but it's actually keeping kind of your ears and your head warm. So there you go. That is the Armory's Callaway Coat by Owen Barry. Uh, you know, we use actually very high quality shearling or Owen Barry uses very high quality shearling. And what's nice about really good shearling is it doesn't shed much. Like you might've had shearling coats in the past and you're just finding it's leaving this like mess all over your clothing. Um, that fortunately does not happen with the Callaway. All right, let's look at this next. This is the Rocky Mountain Featherbed Parka. Um, I love this coat. Every time I see this coat, I'm like, where were you five years ago? When I first started going to New York to get the Armory New York started, um, you know, New York, when it gets really, really cold, uh, is almost painful and you really need a down coat. Like that's really one of the only things that's gonna work. Um, I was wearing a lot of Canada Goose at the time, but you know, Canada Goose always looks a little, a little off with tailored clothing. This works beautifully, right? This actually has the length to cover up your sport jacket properly. The details are simple. It's obviously a little bit bulky because it's a heavyweight down coat, but um, what's nice is it's got a drawstring at the waist too. So you can actually put a little bit of shape into the waist of the coat. It's got zippers and snaps to keep you very well secured. The collar comes really high like that. And you've got a hood as well. So it's really gonna keep like all the rain, sleet and snow off of you. Um, the hip pockets are lovely. Like cause the hip pockets actually have side entries like that. So you can use them as hand warmers as well as like the patch and flap this way. And then you've also got hand warmer pockets up here as well. So one of my favorites being in Hong Kong this year, I'm not gonna get terribly much use out of it, sadly. Um, but if you're in a cold weather location, this is the one for you. All right, how about some tailored coats? Let's look at some tailored coats. Uh, this is the RC66. So this is uh, Ring Jacket's domestic design, and then we made some modifications to it. Um, most importantly, we made it a lot longer. Like for us, when it comes to tailored overcoats, we like something that has a little bit of length that's past the knee. And you know, like despite it being a little bit longer, it doesn't mean you can't wear it with jeans or whatnot. Or if you wanted to kind of bring it back to a more sporty form, you could have an alterations tailor easily just shorten it a little bit too. I love this particular fabric. It's by a lovely mill in Ireland called McGee. And they've done this beautiful like beige and gray brown twill with these amazing little colorful flecks in it. Like I love the palette of it. You know, you've got like baby blue, you got pink, you got gold, you got navy, just like such an interesting combination of colors. And yet from a slight distance, like you don't, you don't see it at all. It's really one of those things that you just enjoy for yourself. This particular color I think actually works really nicely, even with formal outfits such as this. Like I specifically put this coat on this mannequin with the pinstripe suit, just because like I think they, those two things sit so well together. All right, the McGee coat is a little bit heavier um, of the two overcoats that we've released this season. So this is about 600 grams. And then the next one I wanna show you is much lighter. I mean, it's borderline like heavy sport jacket weight. Um, so this is about high 400s, close to 500. And it's this particular fabric, it's Vitali Barbaris Canonico. It's a lovely shade of olive. And it's got this beautiful, like tone on tone olive 
with a yellowish fleck in there as well, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Really easy color to wear, really easy to pair. Um, goes well with tailoring, but certainly you could use it in a more casual context as well. And just to show off that RC66 model, so I'll show you a few of the details. Double breasted, of course. Get that tag out of the way. Looks great with the collar up like that. It's got this beautiful detail in the back, the Martingala back. Patch and flap at the hips. There you go. That's the ring jacket RC66 for the armory. Actually, let's just pop this here for now. Let's look at some coherence coats. So this is the lightest coat that we've done this season. This is the coherence fufu. It's in a really interesting cotton fabric. So it's got beige and a reddish brown in it. Move that around to show you. Um, the fufu is named after Leonard Fujita, which was a famous painter, Japanese painter based in France. In fact, I, I recently got to go to see an exhibition of his work. Really like incredible, like kind of kind of surreal. Almost like you can almost imagine his work like influencing a lot of manga drawing uh, that came, I guess, in like the 70s or so. Full style coat, as is typical for coherence. Double breasted. No uh, belt on the waist, but this nice umbrella back here. And you know, with coherence coats, like they're very A-lined and they look good in photos, but you really get the best sense of them when you see them in motion. Like there's something about coherence coats when they're in motion that um, the Chinese for it for me is like Dai Fong. Like it always looks very grand and very dramatic in a good way. All right, last one. And this one, hi folks, I've had to splice this last part in. Uh, we had a little snafu with the microphone, which is a little bit embarrassing, uh, but let's finish this video off. So last thing we're gonna look at is the Mark coat, named after Marcel Duchamp, not me. Uh, it is a collaboration design we did with Coherence, and it is made in this beautiful chocolate brown polyester microfiber. Like it's really soft and supple. Uh, it's an awesome fabric for a coat, for a raincoat, for an overcoat, which, you know, this will serve in both duties. Uh, it is based on an old style coat called the Tai Lokan coat, which was the precursor to the trench coat. And the Tai Lokan generally looks like this, so, you know, big collar, and it had this really interesting belt system that was very adjustable, uh, and it sat right at the bottom of your rib cage rather than at your true waist. Um, the idea was that it was for military dispatch riders, so messengers basically, and when they're on their bikes, like they need the belt not to get in the way of their body, like they needed that range of motion from here on down. Um, we tried to recreate that feeling uh, using this because the belt, cool as it was, was actually a little bit impractical for civilian use. So we have this, like a little metal fastening on the left side, and then a button here hidden behind a flap on the right side like this. And it gives this very like clean, neat appearance, uh, you know, with this microfiber cloth, like it's got such a nice drape. So you could definitely wear it like this unbelted, but I actually prefer the belt, uh, the coat belted up like so. You know, with coherence, like one of the things they're known for obviously is like a very A-line sort of shape. Um, and there's always this temptation to make it a little bit trimmer by sizing down. In this case, with the belt, I would recommend trying to resist that temptation. And I'll tell you why. It's because when you have a fuller coat with a belt like this, like the belt creates such a nice effect. You've got this lovely like fullness here at the chest, and then you've got this great like skirt effect at the hips going downwards. And you know, the only way you're gonna get that is when you have a little bit of extra fabric. Like if this was a size down, for instance, it would be a little bit too close here and here. So the belt wouldn't really do anything. I love this thing with the collar up. And you can button it all the way like that. And that's the back stuff for you. So there you go. This is the Coherence Mark coat. And that concludes our overview of Overcoat's 
at the Armory this season. If you'd like to know anything else about our coats, please feel free to leave a comment or get in touch with me or any of our sales staff. And thanks for watching.